Welcome back to my channel. I am Neha Parashar, working in a healthcare company and based in Germany. In today's video, we are on third part of step three, which is US FDA meetings, and we'll talk about how to perform the meetings with US FDA and what are the steps behind it. In the previous part of the video, we talked about what are these US FDA meetings and why they are so important. If you have not watched that video till now, then you can watch it now. The link for all the past video have been given in the description box below. So now let's come to today's topic. How to perform these meetings with US FDA or what are the steps to perform the meetings with US FDA? Before having any meeting with US FDA, we have to follow some steps. Um, and we need a lot of preparation well before months in advance. For example, companies need to draft the questions, what are they going to ask, how they are going to ask and so on. So let's see these steps one by one. First step is submit the meeting request. We need to send a written request to US FDA for meetings. If you are not sure which type of meeting to request, we can contact our FDA regulatory project manager. So he or she will guide us regarding the correct category of the meeting. Along with the meeting request, we also need to send some additional information. For example, detail about the product, name, chemical name, structure and the proposed indication for the drug, context of the drug development, application number if it is applicable and the types of meeting which we are going to request for example type a type b or type c and so on please remember for padufa meeting type a and all kind of basufa meeting the briefing package needs to be included in the meeting request up front if we miss to do that then fta can generally deny the meeting request straight away we also need to send our preferred dates and FDA project manager then will come back to us and he will confirm regarding the dates and the proposed timelines. So based on this, FDA can accept the meeting request or they can deny the meeting request. After that, the FDA project manager will reach out to us and will confirm us the meeting format. That means if it will be face to face or if it will be a telephonic and so on. And he will also confirm us the date and the timing for the actual meeting. So once this is confirmed, we'll make the briefing package. What is this briefing package? Briefing package is a file or a document which is prepared by us. So what do we include in this briefing package? We include the information about our product and also the questions that we are going to ask to USFT. So what are our questions and what do we think about those questions? What is our stand or position on each question? That is something we will write in that document and we'll submit it to USFT. For each question, we need to provide sufficient background information also. Otherwise, they will not be able to help us, right? So that's why we should include the additional background information for each question. So if we want to get a clear guidance from US FDA during the meeting, then preparation of a good briefing package or a briefing book is very, very important factor. Once FDA receives this briefing package, they will start their review and they will have an internal meeting to discuss regarding the briefing package and these questions. After that, they will send us the initial answers before one to two days before the actual meeting days. So once we receive the initial answer, we'll discuss those answers internally. This period is sometimes very, very hectic for us because we have to go through all the answers in a teamwork and we have to see what are the questions they are answered by USFDA and what are the questions we still need to clarify with them. So we really have to go through this hectic period in which we sit together and we discuss around these initial answers. If we are satisfied with FDA answer, we need not to discuss those questions in detail during the meeting. So we as a team need to decide which topic should be further discussed with the FDA in the upcoming meeting, what topics require more data and what topics can be considered resolved. So once we are clear with this, then it's a rehearsal time. We finalize our presentation and our position to the remaining open question that we want to discuss with US FDA. As I said, last one to two days before the meeting is really, really hectic because we have to discuss these answers, we have to do all this preparation and we also have to do a lots of rehearsal for the actual meeting day. When all this is done, then comes a meeting day where we'll have a meeting with USFTA. 
so once the meeting is done after that fda will send us the post meeting minutes so uh, usually they send it within 30 days of the meeting we need to review these meeting minutes if we see that we need some clarity or there are any discrepancies or error in those meeting minutes that we should upfront contact to usfda so this was all about the steps behind the usfda meetings and how to approach this now before we end this video do you know the timelines between the meeting request and the actual meeting dates for all the basufa meetings if you know the answer let me know in the comment section i'll reveal the answer next week in my next upcoming video which will be releasing next week i will share the tips and tricks to conduct the efficient meetings with usfda so let's stay tuned for the next videos